What's happening guys, coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the difference between Ferrite speakers and Neo speakers. But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, let's get into this. So in this video, like I said, we're gonna be talking about the difference between your Ferrite mo uh, model speakers and your Neo speakers. So we'll go over our Ferrite or your more standard type of speaker first. On the right right here, we have a Defbonce, we're just using this for an example, a Defbonce M67AC. So this is gonna be the newest Arnold model and you can see the motor on the back of here is a beast and it definitely has a lot of weight to it Usually on a ferrite uh, model speaker, it's going to have increased weight. They can they can be great. Don't get me wrong, but if you're going to be and we're talking about door speakers here, they also make neo subs and regular ferrite model subs as well. So, uh, but in this video, we're going to talk about like your door speakers. So on this one, you can see how much room it takes up. The motor is big and it's also deep so i think we measured these before and they're like five and three quarters across here and also on the depth they're three inches so this is to get this speaker as to play as best as possible and as loud as possible usually uh ferrite modeled speakers aren't as um accurate if you want to see if you want to use that as a uh, the description you can get better performance out of a Neo up into a certain point. Some people say once Neo gets to a certain temperature, it starts degrading. But there's always pros and cons to like the different things that you're comparing, right? So the downside or the cons to a ferrite model speaker like this is one, it's going to be the weight, and two, usually it's going to be the size. So um more than confident that this neo speaker is way more powerful i mean you can just go by the rating of it is 300 watts and this one over here i believe is 300 watts as well this is a new model sorry they just came out with this one the uh, prior model to this was 200 watts and uh this one is 300 watts as well we're going to show you the difference in the weight between the two there's going to be one thing but look how much smaller and this actually has a case around it so the actual amount of neo in here uh, neo stands for neodymium so that's a type of magnet material so uh, the amount of neo in here it may be like this big it's not it's not a huge speaker or a huge magnet like you see over here because it doesn't require as much because neo is way more uh, it has a lot more strength a lot more power if you will so say these are both rated at 300 watts rms but look how much bigger that motor is than that one and this one has a, a casing around it. This one, is, you can see, is just strictly um, the magnet right here. So again, this is going to be lighter, and it's also going to take up a lot less room. So if you're trying to do like a um, install where your depth is your depth or your circumference is going to be playing a factor, then Neo can usually get you there because it's going to have a smaller uh, back end, if you will, usually pricing is uh pretty drastic as well so this speaker right here um for uh, a set of these they are 150 bucks for the set for the neo model of it it's almost 300 dollars. so i think they're 289 for the set of these these are by far the loudest vocal speaker that i offer on down for sound vocally nothing else compares to this speaker right here the 67 an crazy loud vocals so it comes at a price but anyway if you're say you're doing a door a crazy door setup like in my work truck we have this 12 mids per door and six tweeters across the top so right now if each one of those mids let's just say they're 10 pounds that's 120 pounds like if each one of them were 10 pounds that's 120 pounds just in the speakers is hanging on that door so that's that's almost like hanging a uh, a kid or a large kid 
on a door so that can make your door hinges fail prematurely have issues with your doors just from the door like so much weight being on the door again that's just the speakers the fiberglass work that goes into it building the panels and making it structurally sound is also going to add weight so you could easily be 150 200 pounds in your complete door setups when you get into these crazy doors like you see in the tahoe or my work truck or what have you so if you went to use uh, Neo speakers in there, it would essentially cut the, um, I was about to say the cost, <laughs> that would be backwards. It would essentially cut the weight in half so you could deal with even having more speakers or having the same amount of speakers for half the weight so it would be easier on your door hinges and pins and everything like that uh, but again it's going to be usually almost twice the cost all right so we got that handy dandy scale right here first we're going to put on the arnold just this one speaker right here comes in at seven and a half pounds so that's a pretty good amount of weight right so we're gonna pull it off <laughs> and stick this one on there so we're at four pounds and this is the most powerful so it's almost half the weight though so that shows you how much like you're getting 300 watts RMS and both of these speakers so this one is almost half the weight as his brother right here they're both 300 watts RMS but again if you're just going to be doing a single uh, speaker setup in your door and like depth isn't an issue, the, the uh, circumference of the speaker isn't an issue, then it would be cheaper to go. Also, I forgot to talk about this one. Again, it's, it's really up to you on what you want to do and what you want to run, but this is the difference between the two different speakers, the Ferrite model and also the uh, Neo model over here. Appreciate y'all asking the questions. I look forward to it. It helps me learn things as well if I don't know about them. It also opens up a room for discussion in the comments section if you answer, um, you ask a question. I've seen some other people answering questions in there as well. So thank you for people jumping in there and also helping others in the comment section on my videos. That's really cool to see. But if I do see one of your questions and it doesn't get answered or maybe it did get answered and it was incorrect or I think I could answer it maybe a little bit better or I could learn from it, then I'll try to make a video of it and put it on one of the frequently asked questions videos and uh, we'll address it there. But anyway, appreciate y'all joining me on another Down For Sound video on my YouTube channel here. If y'all need anything car audio, be sure to hit us up at downforsoundshop.com. You can check that out in the description below. We'll see you in the next one, later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.